Good evening. Uh, Jack, Smack, Jack Smack 77 put up a video uh, saying that uh, I was out of joint and upset because John 316 has no contacts. In other words, he isolates it. And now he's going to give us the context. And he says, well, I'm going to give you the context here. John 316 doesn't give you the gospel. John 316 doesn't give you the cross. John 316 doesn't give you the resurrection. So let's see what he says here. Contextualizing John 3.16. Okay. And this is a 1 minute 22 second video. Late, lately, Edward, Edward P. F. 1 3 has become mentally unsettled over a form of gospel reductionalism. He has disparagingly dubbed the Colossus Gospel. So they reduced the Gospel, a form of a Gospel, of a gospel, and they call it the Gospel. not the Gospel. Okay, people? That's not the Gospel. Even they say it's not the Gospel. And he disparagingly called, dubbed the Colossus Gospel. It's called that because there's no cross in it. It's a promise. Okay. Let me turn this sound off here. I don't give any strikes. His main gripe is that John 3.16 is context sufficient. See this guy? No. That's not the main gripe. It's gospel deficient. It's not context deficient. It's gospel deficient. Death, burial, resurrection, Jesus Christ. You have 44 thumbs up on this. Regarding this, I have contextualized John 3.16. Really? For God so loved the world, that's you, me, and everyone. Okay. Okay. That he gave his only begotten son, that's Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, wait a second here. That's Jesus Christ. How are you supposed to know that? He died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again. Oh, we're supposed to know it from John 3.16. Look at this guy. That he gave his only begotten son. Now he tries to smuggle in other information. That's Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for your sins and was buried and rose again. We don't know that from John 3.16. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> you are such a liar. <sighs> so he smuggled in that who else have believed in him? Well, yeah, now if you told us who he is, that isn't mentioned in John 3.16. And remember, you're not supposed to compare scripture to scripture. How did you know? Someone tells you John 3.16. How do you know Jesus Christ wrote, uh, uh, died on the cross and rose again from the dead? That's, that's not in John 3.16. Can I perish? Go to hell. And have everlasting life. He's smothering the gospel, people! Now, would someone please give Ed some dom uh, dom uh, dominoes and a deck of cards or, or words so he should sleep his board or otherwise expect a thousand more tack videos? <laughs> you liar. <laughs> oh, I'm going to put him in my cooler.
So that's uh, Jack Smack. Yeah, I'll have a thousand more videos on this guy. Watch the video, people. See how he tries to smuggle in the gospel. Word search. Thank you, and we are off. See what you gotta do, people? See what you gotta lie? He goes up there and gives you the gospel. The gospel gave, the gospel, the gospel of the world he gave, his only begotten son. Then he gives you the gospel. Oh, that's the gospel. That Jesus Christ died for his sins and of course was buried and rose again from the dead. That's not part of John 3.16. You're getting that from somewhere else. And he, he wants you to believe you can just believe in John 3.16. Well, that's not, that's not stated in John 3.16, is it? That won't save you unless you believe it. Man's a liar. So I'll stop and put this up. Amen. Thank you.